Hello, and welcome back. My name's Chris, and this is Hilo's World, the Railroad Reseller. I appreciate you watching this week. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about some stuff, but I want to be realistic with you and real world with you. And, you know, be a little life here for a minute. Now, uh, Tuesday, we had an election, and I'm not going to pretend like that did or didn't happen, okay? That, that happened. It's It's real life. It's about now, where do we go from here? And that's a big thing. That's that's where we go from here. And I'm going to keep it simple here, folks. You get up and go to work, okay? In 2012, when Barack Obama won re-election, I went to work the next day. When uh, Donald Trump won in 2016, I went to work the next day. Uh, when Joe Biden won in 2020... I went to work the next day, and guess what I did Wednesday, folks? I went to work the next day. We, uh, I had five or six items to pack up that didn't hit a video because I had a lot to do that day, and I worked a nine-and-a-half-hour shift, okay? Um, like I say, I, I went to work that day, and the reason why I went to work that day is that's what you do, folks. Um, I always, if you watch my videos long enough, I compare myself to any other retailer, any other shop. Um, you know, just because we're not brick and mortar don't mean we don't do the same things that other brick and mortar don't have to uh, contend with. So I just went to work the next day, and people opened their shops, they opened their stores, they lived. That's what you do. Um, so... You know, wherever you're at, if you're happy, great, celebrate, but go to work. If you're upset, if you're sad, go to work. Okay, let's go over some things that's so Just because I'm not a Dallas Cowboy fan doesn't mean I won't sell Dallas Cowboy items or pick them up to sell, especially when they sell as quick as this one did. Uh, we got a little over $15 plus shipping on this. This was a 50 cent purchase. I, by all means, will always pick up Dallas Cowboy items if I think they sell quick. Uh, a couple years ago, probably, it's on a couple videos. I sold quite a few Dallas Cowboy jerseys that I got for a buck a piece. Yes, I will sell Dallas Cowboy items. Uh, a couple of DVDs, just really quick. Airheads, this isn't as good as it used to be. There is a double out there that's Airheads and PCU that's better. Anyway, a little bit over five bucks plus shipping on Airheads. So we'll come pal here. This was a freebie on a throw in. Uh, the reason why I went down a little bit somehow, some uh, probably some water damage or mold or something here. Anyway, brand new sealed, six dollars and something plus shipping on that. Sold some Foot Joy golf pants here. They're real nice. They're a smaller size. They're 35, 30. Uh, these did sell quick, uh, which is good for Foot Joy, but it ain't what it used to bring. I got a little bit. Uh, this was a dollar purchase at a yard sale. Got over a little bit over eleven dollars plus shipping on the uh, Foot Joy. Sold Virginia Tech here. These are Virginia Tech shorts, Nike. $15 plus shipping on the Virginia Tech Nike shorts. Uh, I want to talk about that really quick. With the Virginia Tech shorts there, I was actually, uh, I'd sold some other shorts. So I was digging through for them. I saw those in the bin and I said, I know those things aren't listed, even though they're supposed to be listed. They're in a bin of listed items. It wasn't listed. They sold more, they sold less than a week later. So please check something if you don't think something's listed. Joseph A. Bank. A little over $10 plus shipping. This was a dollar a day Sunday pickup. This is stuff I pick up on Sundays. Uh, that means, you know, a lot of people left that stuff behind. Generally, my dollar a day Sunday stuff is stuff that's been sold, been on for sale at, on, uh, at the Goodwill for five or six weeks. And nobody picked it up. I pick up stuff like that all the time. This would uh this is another Pajee Tech shirt with a pocket. I've had this one for a while, uh, because it's still got the free shipping on it. We got fifteen dollars free shipping on the Pajee Tech shirt. Just glad to get rid of it. Sold this uh Under Armour uh for the last thing here. 
Under Armour here, me just a medium uh, stripe, but when it's this nice, and it's even uh, late October, we can still get $11 plus shipping on the Under Armour Polo. And I was going to continue shooting outside, but too many outside noises and stuff were just interfering with the video. So I brought it back inside so I could talk to you. We'll try the outside again some other time. But what I wanted to say to you is now we've got to focus on the things that are selling. And what exactly is selling? I can tell you, you know, what's sold and all that. But really what's selling is stuff like flannel shirts, jackets, hoodies, Anything for the upcoming season is selling, okay? And, of course, Christmas items are selling, folks. If you don't have your Christmas items up, that's on you at this point. We are six weeks away from Christmas. It'll probably take a week for you to ship an item now. Please stop delaying. If you've delayed for some reason on something just because it's big or something like that, stop. You have got to get those items listed definitely before um, Black Friday comes up because people will definitely be shopping um, for those type of items. Um, and something, too, and I, I, you've watched my videos long enough, you know two things I always repeat to you that people want is necessity and nostalgia. They, they're they always going to take care of, you know, like, okay, like I said, the basics in clothing or something, the basics they need to eat or whatever. They're always going to do that no matter what's going on. They may have to pay more, but they'll do what they need to do to feed themselves, clothe themselves, whatever there is. Um, so, and then second, nostalgia always sells. Look at the movies that's coming up or what just came out that's doing really well. If you see items with those type of, uh, uh, you know, that, that kind of grasp you that catches your eye, well, most likely if it catches your eye, it's going to catch somebody else's eye. And at least look it up and see if those items are selling well. If you, you know, if you say, well, Chris, I thought that Deadpool Wolverine thing would sell great. You said it would sell great. No, I'm telling you to still do your work just because you see it on the shelf and it looks nice and you're like, man, I, I could get some money. Always look it up and see what the sales history is too. Still do your work. Don't, don't always assume everything, you know. Sometimes you'll get good surprises. A lot of times you'll get bad surprises, you know. So always do your work and do your due diligence, okay, folks? And also, you know, make sure just with everything you do, like we take pictures and give descriptions and stuff. I see a lot of people's descriptions. You don't have to write a book. I'm not saying write a book. But make sure your descriptions are very thorough. You know, make sure that, hey, I know customers don't read a lot of it, but that doesn't mean you get to be lazy because the customer's lazy. We'll show you some what solds, and we'll come back and wrap this thing up. Okay, let's go over some things that sold. Sold these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I uh, did two of these. Uh, $12 and something plus shipping. Uh, this is an item when I used to do coupon yard sales, I found that I still had. They're not doing me any good right now. So uh, $12 something plus shipping. So Poison Ivy uh, on DVD. This is the three DVD lot. Uh, about $11 plus shipping on Poison Ivy. Sold, if you watched another video, I'd sold a bunch of My Little Ponies, and I mentioned I had more, another lot. This is a lot of 60 of these little mini My Little Ponies. I paid five bucks for the whole 123. Uh, this lot, I got $60, $62, I think, plus shipping. The other was around the same amount, $60. So that was $120 on a $5 bog bag of My Little Ponies. <clears throat> sold these Carhartt. FR jeans. They're brand new with tags here. Um, I picked these up. I did pay. Um, our Goodwill charges $8 for jeans. No matter what, they can be Rural King used jeans and they still want 8 bucks. So they can be these brand new FR Carhartt jeans. So they charge 8 bucks no matter what, unless it's dollar day and then it's dollar. Anyway, I sell that. We got $31. And something plus shipping on the Carhartt jeans. Um, sold some ink here. 
different numbering than other times. 96 ink. I think we got like $15 plus shipping on the $96 ink. This is still part of that $50 buy of the ink. Uh, that was still a good one there. Um, let's see. Sold. Uh, can I do so? Closed. KS Island here. Uh, tropical 4XL shirt. A little bit over $12 plus shipping on that. Sold a cookbook. Um, this was a throw-in, so it was really free to me. Uh, got this and a DVD on throw-in when I bought uh, some clothes. The lady just said, you can just take that with it. Anyway, nothing great. $8 and something plus shipping on that. Got uh, Patagonia here. Uh, this is Patagonia fleece type thing. This was the type of stuff that will sell. Well, it hurts this thing. It is a medium here. Uh, but we got $21 plus shipping on the Patagonia here. And finally, we had a C.C. Filson here. Flannel. It's a ladies. Anytime I see that tag, I know it's a good tag. Anyway, of course, it's that time of year. $29 and uh, something, a little bit over $29 plus shipping on the flannel. I had an original ending for this video, and I didn't like it when I went back to view it. Um, so you're getting an alternative uh, viewing uh, video here at the end. Um, what I wanted to say was that in a business situation, now a lot of people are coming up uh, sales are slow right now. Sales are sluggish right now. What's helping me actually is I I was lucky enough to get some good inventory on some expensive items. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what hits the videos and stuff, but I recently sold a polar rappler in jacket for eighty some dollars plus shipping. Um, I sold a Wolverine uh, video game for sixty five dollars plus shipping, which I want to address that too real quick. Uh, the guy got the video, uh, the game worked good, everything worked good, and he left me a neutral feedback. And that stuff's just going to happen. There's no use getting all upset and calling eBay because, and he, he said, he didn't say nothing about the way I packaged it being wrong. He didn't say nothing about the game itself, it being scratched up, nothing. He said nothing. He just said, I thought the price was too high on this classic video game. How is that my problem that that's the going price on the game? There's multiple people who sells it, and some of them hires, maybe probably very few lower. Um, so I don't know what exactly what I'm supposed to do. That being said, what you need to do in times when times are hard and times your sales aren't as good is just provide the best, best customer service you can. Uh, when somebody messages you, Try to get back to them as soon as possible. Um, if they're talking to you after the sale, maybe you say, hey, you know, if you throw in another item, I could do free shipping on the second item because it'll be in the same package. Or maybe I can do $2 shipping instead of $6 shipping. Generally, most of my shirts now, unfortunately, I hate the new shipping rule. But, you know, most of your shirts, uh, you pay about $6 to ship. Um, but I can throw a second shirt in a bag and I only had charged two dollars shipping on that shirt, you know. So you've got your original cost, say ten bucks. I can do twelve dollars ship to your house now, on the second shirt, and that can become appealing. And that's what you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to learn to upsell a little bit, and you're going to have to provide excellent customer service. Don't be afraid to be the better, you know, to step it up. Uh, that's all I've got to say. Finally. Uh, like I said, I had an alternative ending for this, and I didn't like it. That's kind of why this video got delayed a couple days. I couldn't quite think of where I was going. Um, but the thing that, you know, you've got two choices in a situation when things are going bad or things are going down is double down and make things worse and all that or see where you can make little changes and make little changes. Don't go ballistic. People sometimes, they go off the wall with their changes. Make small changes. Say if I said today I was getting out of clothes. Well, then I'd start sourcing more non-clothes, which is still clothes, but you understand more shirts. Maybe I want to get out of shirts. Maybe I want to get in belts, you know? You find belts that work better. That's how you do it. 
but it'd be a slow process. I wouldn't just go and throw this all in a box and say, here, Goodwill, have it back. That's not how that's how it goes. You don't make drastic. You make small changes. Anyway, I've said enough. Comment below what you're thinking. What your thoughts on sales will be for the rest of this year. I've seen some people have dropped off the face of the earth. Thank you and have a great week.